Every morning, it's the same. Read your mail, send a text, visit a couple of sites. The routine is so boring. But what's the point of all that? We're programmers, and we have Python. Have a seat. In this video, we'll tell you about Python's top 10 scripts to automate routine processes. Watch till the end for the best one. We're Jelvix, and you're on our channel. Weekly videos on tech in five minutes. Let's start with our favorite, getting information from Wikipedia. This script allows the user to type their query into the console line and get information from Wikipedia in a few seconds. The most remarkable thing about this script is the computer's voiceover of the retrieved data. Isn't it cool? To make the script work, you need to install the Python Wikipedia library, which allows you to retrieve information from the internet easily. And the script itself is just a couple of lines of code. Pause it and see for yourself. Let's continue with daily services. Weather information. This script is for you to check the weather daily. It'll communicate with your favorite weather service and send notifications to your desktop whenever you open your laptop. Here, you'll already need two libraries, Beautiful Soup and Toast Notifier. We recommend reading our example. Want to save a YouTube video in two clicks? You can. YouTube is a treasure trove of helpful information. After all, you watch this video on YouTube too. This script uses external API and saves the video in the device's memory in a couple of clicks. It works with PyTube and Kinter libraries. Thanks to Kinter, the script has a clear and straightforward interface. Try it. Continue with a valuable script for reading enthusiasts. The idea for this mini program came from our project manager. She needs to keep a dozen tabs open in her browser to monitor all the tasks. That's why Jelvix developers helped her and other colleagues with this script. The principle is elementary. You enter the links to the sites you want to read later and don't worry about losing them. Clicking on the script, you immediately open all the tabs you want. All you need is the web browser library. Press pause and take a look. And now let's help those who don't like to read much. This script scans your chosen PDF file and saves it in audio format. Perfect for giving your eyes a rest. It works on the PyPDF and PyTTSX3 libraries and only takes 10 lines of code. Can you make one of these? There's a little hint on the screen. Now, the following script converts images from JPEG to PNG. This is an excellent solution for those needing to improve image quality. It's fast, easy, and no need to pay for an external service. Let's find out how this script works. First, install the pill library. And now look at the screen. Next to the image.open command, enter the access path to our JPEG image. Next, specify the placeholder path next to im1.save, where we want to save the PNG file. Voila, everything works. Now we do the opposite. The previous script is easily reworked to achieve a contrasting result. Of course, JPEG files are used less often now, but the need remains. This is what it looks like in the console. Let's make it harder. How about automatically summarizing a Wikipedia article? This script allows you to find the information you're interested in and reduce lengthy articles to a few paragraphs. The result is achieved thanks to the GenSim library, which can process natural languages. We recommend you pause it and take a look at the results. Now let's take care of security and look at the password encryption script. Imagine that you have a hundred accounts at different sites with different passwords. How about writing them down in a text file? Security professionals will not approve of this move. What if all the passwords in the file are encrypted? The cryptography library can help with that. This code encrypts all your passwords and only you can access them. Let's see. The last script will be handy for marketers and entrepreneurs in automatic mailing to WhatsApp. Without further ado, thanks to the use of two libraries, PyWhatKit and CSV, Python can work wonders. The scripts can read phone numbers from, for example, an Excel spreadsheet and send them messages in different messengers. Very useful. Another thing we recommend is AI writing tools. 
Watch our video on the best tools, how they work, and examples of us using them. Support us by commenting on this video and clicking the like button. This video was prepared by the Jelvix team. We help top brands worldwide to innovate and accelerate digital transformation. We share the latest news about tech trends and innovations. So make sure to subscribe not to miss a single video. Bye for now.